So that's two dango. Would you like anything else? No? Okay. Well, that's just three anchors, please. Thank you very much. And have a wonderful Sakura week. Next, please. Oh, hello there. Gosh, I, uh, I haven't seen you in a little while. How are you? <laughs> oh, me? I've been doing great. Yes, I've actually had a lot of customers to the bakery. Yes, um, <laughs> not that I'm complaining. I'm just really happy that all my Sakura themed breads and treats are a bit of a hit. <laughs> but honestly, I think I might need to hire some help around here. Things are getting a bit out of control. <laughs> oh, goodness, where are my manners? You came here for a reason. What can I get you? Oh. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but, um... No, we're out of Dango. Yes, it's extremely popular, especially during, you know, the festival. Yes, um... I am really sorry to let you down. M maybe I can help you with something else? Oh. Something else for a cherry blossom viewing picnic. Hmm. Well, obviously, Dango is the most popular. Hmm. Uh. Oh, I know. Cherry blossom cookies. And I have some right here. Mm hmm. Aren't they adorable? They are. They not only look pretty, but they are absolutely delicious. Enjoying kind of a crispy, buttery cookie. Salt, pickle, cherry blossoms, mm, decorated all over the sides of the cookies, with sparkling sugar for that elegant look and taste. Yes, you can eat the cherry blossoms. Uh, we preserve them in salt so they can be used for various dishes. However, it's not as simple as simply sprinkling salt over the blossoms. The whole process takes place over several weeks. Tender young buds are hand picked, washed and dried, and soaked in umen. Um, plum vinegar for several days before dried completely. Then they're packed in jars or packages with salt. <laughs> I actually uh, picked um, them myself, you know. So um, it's all local. I do get very excited around this time for all these festivities and sweets. <laughs> uh, uh, would you like some? Uh, great. I'll pack some up. Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, something similar to Dango that's fairly popular is um, uh, Sakura Mochi. Yes. I, I know it's not bread, but it is kind of doughy, and honestly, I just, I want to give as many treats as I can during this time. <laughs> it's a chewy pink mochi with a red bean paste, and the filling is just divine. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I really think you'd enjoy it. It's wrapped in salted pickled leaves for that kind of tasty balance. The aroma of cherry blossom leaves adds to the next level of the full spring experience. <sighs> the only thing I don't like about spring, and there aren't many, because spring is truly a time which I adore, is the yokai. And I know it's silly to say, me being one, but a lot more devious ones, they do come out. <laughs> You've got to be on your toes. <laughs> but um, this mochi goes really well with green tea. And uh, I recommend cooking some and, and bringing it in a flask. You know? Nice and hot till you need to start the picnic. <laughs> nice tea. But of course, there are many vendors that sell that. But the lines are 
incredibly long. It's ridiculous. Gosh. Mm hmm. It's better and cheaper to bring your own. And that's an Oni specialty. Just for you. A little secret. <laughs> yeah. Good old me knows what I'm talking about. It's not my first cherry blossom viewing. There have been a lot. <laughs> it's interesting that no matter how much the world changes, the cherry blossom's always as beautiful. And it brings people so much happiness. And a warm, fuzzy feeling. It's so reassuring, you know, that they'll come back every year and announce that spring has come. Quite magical, don't you think? Oh, yes. Goodness, my mind is in the clouds. Something else to bring. Well, I made these cherry blossom shaped breads, decorating them myself with the salt preserved cherry blossoms, as is most of the things in the shop, now I think about it. Apart from its lovely look, it has a soft and subtle texture. It is filled with a red bean paste or a white bean paste, some with chocolate, <laughs> some without. Uh, the fillings are just amazing, and topped with sesame seeds, if you want to learn a treat. Would you like some? Great, I'll package some for you then. I also made some Sakura pound cake with raisins and some Sakura roll cakes. <laughs> Coated in a ger generous amount of heavy cream. <sighs> It tastes lighter than it looks, I promise. Just don't ask how much it, um, well, how many carbs, or how much fat, or how much sugar. You know what, don't ask about any of the negative points about cakes, ever. You're just setting yourself up to be disappointed. <laughs> uh, I tend not to worry about those things. Worrying only makes it worse. Just enjoy life. And anyway, some people like a bit more meat on the bone. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. Oh, and uh, glazed donuts, of course. I made Sakura mochi flavored ones coated in a colorful pink glaze and created in the image of the Sakura flower. They're nice and chewy. Then we have this, um, Sakura French Crawler Donut, and it's created with honey-infused uh, Sakura-flavoured uh, kind of whipped cream in the middle, and it's topped with strawberry and chocolate coating with raspberry sprinkles. Some say I went over the top. I entirely disagree. <laughs> and then, if you plan to invite a lot of people, I recommend getting a bucket of donut pops. It has donuts in little bite-sized pieces so you can enjoy the flavors and share with everyone. All by yourself. <laughs> I'm not judging. They are like crumbs to me in any case. A bit too big for them. I just eat regular donuts like donut pops. <laughs> I mean, after a long day of hard work, baking and selling, I rest my bones in a hot bath and eat the leftovers from the day's work. I do, I really do. There's a hot spring that's nearby, you know. It's a public one, and it's monster-owned. Maybe after your picnic, you could pay it a visit. I hear the owner's really nice. Ah. Would you like some more treats? At this. Uh, I'll pick out a selection for you. Great one. I think probably some of these. And you'll definitely need some of these. Some of that. Are you allergic to anything? Oh, I see. So some of that. Oh, there's these amazing Lebanese, um, kind of... They're made by the Sun Elves. And they, they have this pop. I cannot remember for the life of me what they're called. Anyway, I don't have any of them. I don't know why I'm bringing it up. I think some of these. Some honey cakes, and that looks like a pretty good set. <sighs> oh, 
would love to go on the picnic myself. <laughs> oh. With me? You don't want me tagging them along to your picnic. <laughs> Grumpy old Donnie like me. <laughs> uh, well, if you're sure, well, the least I can do is treat you to these gifts. <laughs> oh, and um, I'll bring some tea to the picnic. I'm already excited. Alright, well, you have your treats and I'll meet you down there. <laughs> Alright. Um, goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> Artwork for this video was by Moe.